In an ideal world, I start my day at 5 a.m., waking up and making breakfast by around 5.30. Most days don't exist in an ideal world, but today I'm going to be showing you what a successful version of my day typically looks like. So for breakfast, we're keeping it simple with some Oat Crunch Cheerios and some good old pour over coffee. Uh, I'm sure you've watched enough pour over coffee montages and other videos that I don't need to subject you to that. So we just kept it quick here. So after having some breakfast while watching some YouTube, it's time to get in a nice workout. And this is my garage gym setup that I've accumulated gear for over the years. Originally, I started with just the rack and adjustable bench, uh, barbell, and only around on 275 pounds of weight. And over time, I've added more and more equipment and weight and have a pretty solid setup that's free to use. So today, I'm just doing an upper body workout, uh, starting off with those rear delt flies that you just saw, and then some body weight movements like these pull-ups. And then I do some hanging leg raises and twists to hit the abs and obliques. Um, you know, with winter starting in full force, these warm-up movements are great for starting the workout since they get everything nice and loose and ready to go. Then I'll move on to some form of bench, typically either incline or just regular. Lately, I've been going with the incline just to really focus on the upper chest, which has definitely been lacking for me a bit. And I apologize for the amount of shirtlessness going on here. Sometimes, you know, especially when it's freezing cold out, it just feels good to be stupid and make it even colder. Uh, it's always just a good time to bring out your inner Wim Hof, you know? So then I'll finish off the workout with some sort of back movement like these landmine rows. After the workout is of course time for a shower, and not just any shower, but a cold shower. Now, hear me out. I did not just watch one millionaire morning routine video and start doing cold showers. I watched two. But seriously, at one point I gave it a try and legitimately they have been one of the most helpful actions that I do in a day. It's truly hard to explain the amount of focus and reduction in anxiety that I've gotten from cold showers. And I think the reason it works so well is that when you take on such a stressful and daunting task in a safe and controlled environment, it trains your mind to relax itself even in the midst of something very stressful. And essentially, it's like if I can take on a freezing cold shower, it's gonna take a lot more for anything else in my day to seem difficult. And with that, we're all ready for the day. I did have to make a quick grocery run that day, so I took the good old vet over to Market Basket to grab some groceries. So, once everything is up and running, almost always the very first thing I do is create a to-do list for the rest of the day. If I don't write everything out and run through in my head and onto the list all the things that I need to get done, I am almost certainly guaranteed to forget something. And having the to-do list also helps me break everything down into simple, manageable steps that keep me motivated and prevent me from just feeling overwhelmed by some monolith of a task. Usually I'll start by writing out a few main priorities for the day. These are just things that I've identified are most important to get done that day. And then I'll go through and I'll create checkboxes for each of those to-dos that I have for that day, usually aligning with those main priorities. Now, one thing I've also been working on lately is improving my typing and specifically my typing speed, which has meant that I've finally taken on the task of learning to touch type rather than my usual two fingers per hand while looking at the keyboard technique. And in fact, as I'm writing the script for this video, I have in fact fully learned touch typing and even took it a step further and got myself one of those fancy schmancy ergonomic split keyboards. Specifically, I ended up buying and putting together a corn layout custom keyboard and I fully intend on creating a video on that sometime in the near future, so keep a lookout for that. But in the footage that I have for this day in the life video, I am still but a wee slow typing lad who barely has a couple letters and fingers down with the touch typing. As you can see here, 
it started off astoundingly slow. And after some very slow typing practice, it is finally time to start doing some programming work, and I usually start by opening Slack, checking where things are at, I'll usually throw on some chill music and pull up my code and get started. I'm using a highly customized Tmux environment alongside an equally highly customized NeoVim configuration, all within WSL, and you would not believe the amount of time I have spent just getting this set up to look as good as it does. It took me probably an entire day to get these tabs looking and working the way they do, and get all the status bars for Vim and Tmux looking the way they do for those sexy rounded corners and blue color schemes. It is definitely an obsession, yes I have a problem. Anyways, moving on. So as I've talked about a bit in the past, I'm currently working with a startup where I'm developing a 3D event venue editor as part of an overall event planning software as a service, and we actually just launched our product MVP a few months back. So lately we've been primarily doing bug fixes, general polishing of features, and beginning to add additional features and tools. One functionality that didn't make it into the MVP for the 3D editor portion was the ability to delete specific objects such as doors, windows, and wall outlets. So today, that's what I'm working on adding. As you can kind of see in the clips, I'm definitely running into some errors and bugs trying to get that working. But I spent a few hours debugging, trying different things, and slowly but surely started to get things working. And by the way, if you're curious, I'm using React 3 Fiber here to do all this 3D development. I definitely recommend trying it out and having some fun, and I'm hoping to create some tutorials for you guys to help you get started working with React 3 Fiber. But finally, after hours of coding and debugging, I did in fact manage to get the delete functionality working. And of course that means it's time to spend hours scrolling through YouTube Shorts instead of getting work done. But I did manage to finally pull myself away from the phone. And for the rest of the evening, I decided to try and also add an outline effect so that when we're selecting objects, it shows what object is selected. And after doing only a little bit of research online, I quickly managed to get it working for regular objects, such as tables and other furniture items, but it wasn't yet working for wall items like doors, windows, and outlets, since those are coded slightly differently. But once again, I spent a few hours messing around with the code, and managed to get it working by the end of the day. So finally, I'm all done with work, and it's time to wind down and start getting ready for bed. Some days, I'll split my time between the startup and other freelance work or my own personal projects, but today, as you can see, was a bit different, and I really only worked on one thing. So now, I spend the rest of my evening vegging out, watching One Piece, usually spending time with my cat and my girlfriend. And I totally did not forget to film these parts of the day and actually had to reenact them during the middle of the day or anything like that. But yeah, now it's time to go to bed and get some sleep since, I, like I said, I try to get up at 5 a.m. each day. So I try to get to sleep pretty early so that I can get that full eight hours, but that most definitely does not happen every day. So yeah, that's it. Nothing crazy, I'm not making hundreds of thousands of dollars, yet. Still learning, and growing, and finding what I love to do. But for this video, I really wanted to show, you know, a non-glamorous, realistic day in the life. Hopefully share with you guys some helpful habits in life, and inspire you to find something that you really enjoy doing. And really, I just want to show that life, and your goals, and your aspirations, don't happen in a day, don't happen overnight. They happen in the small, boring actions and the boring habits that we do every single day. And 
building those habits takes time and can be very difficult, you know, especially for someone similar to me who goes from one interest to another and wants to try every hobby under the sun, super ADHD, super distractible, so I totally get it. But I just try to take one step at a time and just like a workout regimen or a diet, it'll feel like nothing's working for the longest time. But you just trust the process and then one day you finally start seeing the results from all your work. One day, all those small habits and small actions turn into the life that you've always dreamed of. One day in the life.